Hello. We're glad you've joined us to learn a bit more about Nexo, a coin gaining traction in crypto-focused banking. This coin is part of the lending sector, similar to Aave, the leader of the lending coins. Before we get into the fundamental analysis of Nexo, we want to urge you to watch the whole video, as we will reveal both what $1,000 could look like if Nexo took over the top spot from Aave as the sector leader, and what the value of $1,000 would be if Nexo had the same market cap as Bitcoin. So stay tuned. It may make you wonder why you're holding on to cash right now. Welcome to Interweb Coins, where we cover crypto, the economy, and the people that influence it. We're here to lift the clouds, pull back the curtain, and give you a leg up in the world of crypto. Today, we're going to do a fundamental analysis of Nexo. Well, uh, we are the lender that is has historically predominantly been focused on the retail. You know, some of the other companies uh, that you mentioned, they were more initially into the institutional space. So uh, right now we have all sorts of clients. We have somebody who deposits as little as $1,000. That is uh, the minimum that we have. We have you know, young entrepreneurs who sit on a bunch of crypto wealth, so several hundred thousand. And we have the whales who are sitting on millions and hundreds of millions of dollars worth of crypto. But uh, I think you uh, mentioned a very interesting uh, uh, detail here, like how does that compare to a banking product and apples and oranges? This will cover the project's founders, what big players are invested in it, the sector, what it's trying to solve, and of course, a price prediction. One of the most important things we must analyze when looking at any crypto is if its supply is increasing, decreasing, or fixed. Nexo is fixed supply in nature. Meaning, unlike the U.S. dollar, you can't just make money out of thin air. The supply of coins in circulation is capped. According to CoinMarketCap's most recent numbers, Nexo has a circulating supply of 387 million and a total max supply of 560 million. This means that of the total supply that will be created, 69% is already in circulation. At the time of this video's creation, the price of Nexo is 69 cents. It's currently ranked number 89 among all cryptos and ranked number 3 in the lending space. Currently, the price of Nexo is down 83% from its all-time highs. Nothing we haven't seen before in crypto as the bears currently have control of the market. Now, before we get carried away with valuation, let's get started on a bit of fundamental analysis on Nexo. Nexo was founded by a team of finance professionals and crypto enthusiasts named Antony Trenchev, Georgi Shulev, and Kosta Kanchev. In 2018, the team launched the Nexo platform, offering the world's first crypto credit lines that allowed digital asset holders to obtain fiat and stablecoin loans against their cryptocurrency, and thus setting the foundation of the crypto lending niche. The collective behind Nexo has a combined experience of over 30 years in financial services, including non-crypto lending, investment banking, mergers and acquisitions, and hedge funds, with co-founder and managing partner Antony Trenchev additionally contributing with experience in finance law and in KYC and AML solutions. Trenchev, who has acted as the public face of Nexo's leadership, has a track record in advocating for wider blockchain and crypto adoption, notably serving as Member of Parliament in Bulgaria's National Assembly from 2015 to 2017, where he promoted the implementation of blockchain solutions for e-government services, as well as frequently commenting on crypto and digital finance-related current events to mainstream media, including Bloomberg, The Independent, and CNBC. Yes, in certain aspects it is, but quite frankly, it functions exactly the same way. You know, we in the Western world have been brought up uh, with this notion that, you know, a bank automatically equals safe. And that might be true for, you know, some of the smaller clients or mid-tier clients who uh, are covered by something like the FDIC uh, insurance up to 250000 or the ECB equivalent over in Europe where it's 100000 uh, euro and that is as safe uh, as anything because that's guaranteed by the government. Uh, but if you're above that threshold, you have the same counterparty risks that everybody has. And on our platform, everything we do, whether it's on the borrow or on the lending side, is over collateralized. So I would argue just from a, a financial perspective and the way that the business is structured and how it actually makes perfect sense uh, that we are safer, especially for uh, you know, the larger clients uh, than your average bank. 
for a million users across 200 plus jurisdictions, managing over $4 billion in assets. The company currently has 150 employees, with its management based in London. Nexo is the first ever provider of instant cryptocurrency backed loans, and it intends to solve inefficiencies in the lending market. Its automated lending process uses smart contracts and an oracle on the Ethereum blockchain to manage loans. After a user transfers cryptocurrency to a Nexo controlled wallet, the oracle establishes the loan and the user is instantly allocated the funds. When the user makes a deposit in order to repay the loan, the Oracle returns the cryptocurrency and records the transaction on the blockchain. Smart contracts are used to power Nexo and to record user balances. Smart contracts are used to power Nexo. Yeah, even with that said, um, it feels like you might have a harder time convincing regulators, especially given the environment right now in the crypto space. Uh, we saw the latest crackdown on Binance, not just uh, over in the UK, but in Japan as well. Um, how are you looking at all those headlines right now and what it could potentially mean for your business? And to record user balances. The coin is marketed to individual and institutional investors, cryptocurrency companies, exchanges, miners, and others who want liquidity from their assets. The company makes a profit from the interest accumulated on loans, and it also offers institutional lending and consulting services. Nexo seeks to build a user base of clients that continue to use the platform and remain invested in Nexo. Therefore, the company announced a loyalty program that rewards those who keep Nexo in their accounts, giving them preferential interest rates on loans and higher yields on savings. Nexo also distributes 30% of its profits to Nexo token holders in the form of dividends. The coin raised a $52,500,000 initial coin offering from Arrington XRP Capital in its inception in 2018. Nexo currently manages assets for 3 million plus users across 200 jurisdictions. In March of 2022, Nexo announced the launch of Nexo Ventures, its in-house Web3 focused investment and acquisition fund. Its purpose is to accelerate the development and adoption of blockchain technology and invest $150 million in long-term commitments in a wide range of early stage retail and institutional projects similar to Nexo's core business. Now for the part you've been waiting for. This is the part most investors in crypto blindly focus on. Hopefully this evaluation will spark your curiosity in Nexo, but will also give you a realistic outlook on a potential investment. This evaluation is based on the current supply of Nexo and the all-time high market cap of coins we're comparing it to. Keep in mind, this will not happen tomorrow or possibly ever. However, keep watching and we'll share why we think it's not out of the question. All right, so here we go. So what would $1,000 turn into if Nexo grew to the market cap of Bitcoin at its all-time high of $69,000? If you invested $1,000 into Nexo at $0.69, cents, that $1,000 would turn into $4,567,775. That's a 456,778% gain. So what would $1,000 turn into if Nexo was to overtake Aave for the number one spot in the lending space? If you invested $1,000 into Nexo at $0.69, cents, that $1,000 would turn into $23,641. Now that we've drawn this picture for you, it's up to you to be realistic. Do they have the team, the use case, the developers? How about the funding? That is up to you to decide and do your own research on. Let's just take a look at the crypto and economy as a whole at the moment. In 2022, the crypto market's market cap has been settling between 500 billion and 2 trillion for the last three years. Now, how would it be impacted if money from other markets joined the party? Money that is currently being shut out of the market due to lack of regulation. According to Seville's World Research, here is a quick estimate of global wealth. Global real estate totals 325 trillion. The world supply of above ground gold is estimated at 12.1 trillion dollars. Equities contribute to another 109 trillion dollars. Now, look again at the total size of crypto. Look at the adoption curve. Look at how much money is in the stock market, gold, real estate, not to even mention the derivatives markets. If things are properly regulated and institutional money joins the market, are our previous evaluations realistic? Again, that's for you to decide. If you're in or plan to be involved in crypto, you must plan for volatility. And remember, time in the market always trumps timing the market.
If you like to be liquid, however, and time macro trends, check out our other videos where we cover crypto adoption, macro level cycle charts, and fellow investors' opinions. If you would like to perform our $1,000 calculation yourself on any other coin you're interested in or at a different price point, we've left a link in the description for you to do so. We hope you've enjoyed this video and choose to let us continue to help you do research on the crypto industry. A like or follow will help us reach more people and let us know we're on the right track. Thanks for watching.